here's more proof that right-wingers have never been about actual freedom, but about control. Right-wingers are excited about uh, women having the right to abortion removed, and now they want to uh, deny women the ability to use uh, birth or abortion pills so that, you know, they don't have to have a fetus inside them. Uh, if right-wingers were truly about uh, everybody having freedom, they wouldn't be trying to create a government that is able to control women and if they have a child or not. The Supreme Court will hear arguments today in a new abortion case that could impact women across the country. The conservative-leaning court is set to decide if access to the so-called abortion pill should be limited. CBS chief legal correspondent Jan Crawford has more. Jan, good morning. Well, good morning. So, I mean, this case could really have far-reaching implications. Mifepristone, the, the drug at issue, is used in nearly two-thirds of all abortion. Now, the right to abortion itself is not the issue here, but whether the FDA overstepped when it made the pill easier to get. How is the FDA overstepping its, its boundaries by allowing people to have more access to a medication? that they could use. That makes no sense whatsoever from the right wing uh, argument. Uh, this is all about the right wingers having control on if women have kids or not, because that's just, that's all right wingers care about making women be brood mares and pop out as many babies as possible so that they can turn these babies into religious nuts. My body, my Two years after the Supreme Court overturned Roe versus Wade, the, day. the issue of abortion is back at the high court. The Supreme Court is weighing whether the Food and Drug Administration adequately considered safety when it... Exp you know, what's funny is uh, you have so many right-wing politicians that are against uh, abortion, Yet, they will force their mistress and secret girlfriends and stuff to have abortions when they get pregnant. Why is it okay for right-wing politicians to force women to have abortions, but it's bad for women to choose to have an abortion? That just never made any sense. Right-wingers want to be able to force women to do things they don't want. They don't want women to have the choices and the freedom to do what they want. Expanded access to the pill. In 2016, the FDA extended the window women can take mifepristone from seven to 10 weeks. And during the pandemic in 2021, it said an in-person doctor's visit was not needed, allowing mail order pharmacies to ship the drug nationwide. Crit like there should have ever been a doctor visit to be able to get an abortion pill. Uh, they should pretty much be over medications. So when a person decides they don't want a fetus, they can take it without having to get permission from their doctor. Critics say those changes compromise women's health and want regulations back to how the pill was prescribed for the first 16 years it was in use. This case is about safeguards for women who choose to take abortion drugs. If women are going to take abortion drugs, then they should have adequate and common sense protections. Abortion rights groups disagree and say mifepristone is safe. This case is just a blatant effort to further restrict abortion access nationwide. The case comes at a critical... Yeah, it is, because right-wingers just want to control women and force them to be brood mares for themselves. It is nothing that that is the only reason why they care about women having the ability to choose to have a baby or not. Because if you look at it, right wingers don't care if born kids die of starvation or anything like that. They will deny kids the ability to get food from like schools and stuff like that because they think women also shouldn't 
be, you know, spreading their legs and having kids they can't afford, which just goes to show that they don't care about anything. They just want control. Critical time with abortion access, a key issue in the presidential election. Last week, former President Trump suggested he would support a national ban around 15 weeks, while President Biden vowed this. We will restore Roe v. Wade again as the law of the land. Uh, I don't really believe anything that Biden says. He's a dude that supports genocide. He supposedly supports rights and stuff. But then he also supports the Israeli government murdering women for just being women. Or the IDF murdering kids. Or the IDF murdering pregnant women. Now, if the court rules against the FDA, it would restrict access to that drug even in states where abortion remains legal. We are expecting... A yeah, because, you know, how the right-winger supposedly cares about states' rights? They don't. They don't care about states' rights whatsoever. They use the excuse of states' rights, though, in order to oppress people by saying that the you know, federal government doesn't have the authority to do that. And then they want the federal government to be able to deny women the ability to choose to have a child or not. A decision by the end of June. Chanel? Thank you. And for more on this, I want to bring in CBS News campaign reporter Shauna Mizell. She joins us on the phone right now. Shauna, what's really at the center of this debate and what can we expect to hear come out of this discussion today? The, what's at the center of this debate is if women have the right to choose to have a fetus inside them or and if they have the right to use medications to prevent that. Good morning. So at the center of this debate is whether the FDA acted correctly in rolling back regulations surrounding methoprisone. Those regulations included allowing the drug to be mailed and also, you know, lessening the requirements for who could prescribe this drug. They allowed nurse practitioners instead of doctors to be able to prescribe methoprisone. But first, the justices will have to determine if the group who brought this lawsuit has legal standing to bring a lawsuit against the Food and Drug Administration. What we'll be expecting to be hearing today will be surrounding those arguments. Do we have a sense, Shauna, of how the court might lean on this issue? You know, I think that really remains to be seen, but the Biden-Harris campaign held a press call yesterday where they sought to highlight that three of the justices that will hear arguments here today were appointed by former President Donald Trump. They underscored the... Yeah, they're right-wing religious nuts who care only about fascism and controlling women. I mean, uh, Clarence Stop, um, but he is longtime friends with a Nazi, a dude that loves to collect Nazi, uh, Nazi stuff. So it is, uh, we're just, uh, our government is, has been infested by Nazis and we need to pretty much remove every single right winger from government so that we can actually progress as a society and live. But this is the same court that overturned Roe versus Wade, and they really sought to emphasize the 